How you been? How you been? Well, okay. Pretty good. Just getting really cold that night. Yeah, it's getting down there, right? Yeah. Really windy last night. So I hear you arrested Alex for those missing girls. Yeah. Well, that's got a little ways to go yet. I mean, right now it's the wife's word against his, so uh, we'll see what happens there. I guess I helped you a little on that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay, I just, you know, I heard about Alex, and I was thinking maybe you could pay me a few bucks since you arrested him. Yeah, I can probably do that. Uh, I can give you $40. <laughs> it doesn't seem like much. Well, I'm still looking into these missing prostitutes, and, uh, you know, maybe you'll be able to come up with some more information. I don't think you're ever going to find out who's doing that. Don't say that. It's so easy to just get us into a car. You know, how hard is it after that to do whatever you want? Yeah, well, it's dangerous, that's for sure. Yeah. How's your food? It's pretty good. You know, maybe it's time you uh, sort of think of doing something practical. Get out of the life you're living. What am I going to do, realistically? I got my grade nine. I'm addicted. Probably got hepatitis, maybe HIV. Have you ever been tested for those? No. Kind of afraid to find out. Well, I think it's better to know. Why? Well, in case you find somebody you like, you know, maybe somebody that you want to be with. I don't have anybody like that. Yeah, but Sue, it's not always going to be like that. Come on. We're going to have you tested and then we're going to know what to do. I'm not going to the clinic and sit in that zoo. No, no, no. I'll take you to my doctor. How's that? Look, I can call and I can probably get you in right away. Okay? Yeah, okay.